Thanks for joining me, this is Danny, and welcome to my mod spotlight of Tiny Gates, an add-on mod for Tiny Redstone. Tiny Gates is an add-on mod for Tiny Redstone that adds Tiny Redstone gates that you can put on panels to form integrated circuits. I cover Tiny Redstone in another spotlight. If you're not familiar with it, you can check that out, but essentially it is a mod that allows you to build Tiny Redstone circuits on these little panels with tiny redstone components. We are gonna go up to the next floor where I have all of my tiny gate examples. Tiny gates adds nine different gates. We're gonna take a look at all these gates and sample circuits to get a sense of how this all works. So our first gate is an AND gate. An AND gate essentially outputs a redstone signal if both of its inputs have received a redstone signal. So if we turn one on, we don't get a signal, but if we turn them both on, we do get a signal. If we turn either one off, we don't get a signal. In vanilla redstone, this would take quite a bit of space to make a simple AND gate like this. So this is definitely going to allow you to make much more compact circuits. And then the OR gate will output as long as either of its inputs receive an input. And if they both receive an input. The XOR gate works a little bit like a three-way switch in that it will output a redstone signal if its inputs do not match. So if they're both on, it turns off. If either is on and the other is off, then it outputs. This will allow you to use either switch to toggle the output state. And then the next is the NOT gate. This basically outputs if it does not receive an input. This works just like a redstone torch, essentially, with two exceptions. One is that it only outputs in a single direction allowing you to control your output a little bit better. And it also does not have a delay. So redstone torches do have a one tick delay. This does not, which allows you to build much faster circuits. This is the clock circuit. So it's outputting a pulse. The pulse is actually too fast for us to see every time for some reason. We right click on the clock circuit to basically set the speed of the clock. So if we set it to 20 ticks, it's gonna be slower and it can go super fast. We can go all the way down to one tick, which is actually too fast for a redstone lamp. This is a counter circuit. When it receives an input, increments its counter. It is also outputting that amount of redstone and it's showing us how much it's outputting. So you can use this for display counter circuits. You can also use it for outputting a specific amount of redstone. The input on the right resets it to zero. The input on the left locks it. No matter how many redstone pulses it receives, it is not going to change as long as that's locked. And also, if we do leave the reset on, that also locks it at zero. For the clock circuit I didn't mention before, you can also lock it by giving it a redstone signal to the back. I just want to show you a bit more of a complicated advanced circuit here. Using counters, we have a counter when it reaches 10, it'll reset to zero and then it'll go to the next number. So this allows us to be able to count multiple digit numbers. We're outputting to a comparator. We have a counter inputting 10 to it. So you can see that these counters can also be used as potentiometers. So you can set the counter to a specific number and then it will just retain that number until it receives another pulse. And if it's locked, of course, then it will retain that number forever, even if it receives a pulse. So in this case, we are inputting 10 into the side of this comparator, which means that this comparator will only allow the output through once it receives a redstone signal of 10. So once it receives a redstone signal of 10, we're actually going to reset this. So we've, we're moving that redstone signal over here to reset this. And then we're also moving it over here to pulse the next digit. So it's much simpler than a seven segment clock circuit that you would make in vanilla redstone, which of course would take up like an entire building. And this just takes up one block. And this isn't the most efficient way that we could do this, but this was just kind of a quick circuit I threw together in order to show an example. So moving on to the RS latch, the RS latch basically has a set and a reset. That's what the R and the S stand for. R is reset, S is set. We click the set and it basically turns it on. Actually, let's turn that off just so that we can isolate our output here. And if we hit it that side again, nothing happens because this all this does is toggle it on and this side toggles it off. Ta-da, and that's it. In vanilla redstone or in tiny redstone for that matter, this is basically accomplished by having two NOT gates feed into each other. 
But in this case, we can do it in a very tiny, tiny space. Next is the edge detector. The edge detector basically outputs a pulse on the edge, either the rising edge or the falling edge of a circuit, which basically means that when the redstone signal turns on or the redstone signal turns off. So when we turn this lever on, we'll, this one is going to pulse. When we turn the signal off, that one's going to pulse. And we can toggle this by just right clicking on it. So we can see that little arrow is pointing up toward the output. If we right click on it, it'll point down, which means that we are now detecting the falling edge. And then the same here, if we change that, we've now swapped them. This is now detecting the rising edge. So just clicking that makes it go up or down. So now that one's detecting the rising edge. That one's detecting the falling edge. Here is a T flip flop which basically kind of turns a button into a lever. So this, when it receives a pulse, it turns the circuit on. And then that circuit stays on until it receives another pulse. And then it turns the signal off. And that is Tiny Gates. Pretty simple mod, but extremely powerful. So if you do have any questions or comments or ideas or whatever, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy this, and if you think you're going to enjoy Tiny Gates, definitely click the like button and join me next time. Thanks for watching.